Welcome to the IBM Multi-Cloud Manager Series. My name is Mark Leftwich and I work as part of the IBM SWOT and Best Practice team. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy an OpenShift cluster on IBM Cloud and then also going to show you how you can log into that cluster through the IBM Cloud website. This is part one in a multi-part series so be sure to check out the other videos. The first step you're going to need to take is to log in to cloud.ibm.com with your username and password. Once you've logged in, you'll be presented with the dashboard. What you need to do is go up to Create Resource in the top right-hand corner. Next, we're going to go to the Search Catalog and we're going to type in OpenShift and hit Return. You'll see here we have Red Hat OpenShift and IBM Cloud, so a ROX installation. Once you've selected that, you can pick the version of OpenShift you wish. I'm going to go for 4.3. If you already have an OCP entitlement with a cloud pack, you can drop this down and select Apply My Cloud Pack OCP Entitlement to this worker pool. Next, you want to come down to Infrastructure. I want to run with a classic infrastructure in this case. I'm going to leave the resource group as default, and now I can pick where I want this cluster to be deployed. So, as you can probably tell by my accent, I'm in Europe, I'm going to pick London, and I'm going to pick London 02 as I already have some other devices in that area. Next, I'm going to come down to the worker pool. Now, this is where you need to understand how much size and capacity you're going to need to run in your cluster. I'm going to be running a few cloud packs on top of this cluster, so I'm going to make this one a little larger. Once you've clicked the change flavour, you can go down and scroll through and there's even more with show remaining at the bottom for what you need. For this particular cluster, I'm going to pick 16 CPUs and 64 gig of RAM on a virtual shared basis. You can also see here uh, the SSD for the primary disk. You can see the secondary disk that's installed and you can also see the network speed. Once selected, click done in the bottom right hand corner. You can now change the cluster name if you wish. So I'm going to call my cluster mlswat-ocp7. And if you wish, you can add tags into the uh, tag column at the bottom here. Once you're done, go to the right-hand side and click Create. IBM Cloud will then go off and start running up your cluster in the background. Now you can see at the top of the screen it's saying Preparing Master and Workers. This will take a little time as it runs up the master and the worker nodes in the background. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to speed up this process until it's completed. The cluster has now been provisioned and you can tell that by looking at the top left and you can see a green circle with a white tick in it and the word normal next to it. Once you see that change, it's going to take about 5 to 10 minutes for all the subdomains to come up on the IBM cloud. After that, you can actually log into the console. So again, I'm going to speed up the video until that's completed and then I'll show you how to log in. Now that your OpenShift cluster is ready, you can go to the right hand side of the screen and click OpenShift Web Console button and this will open the console for you. As you can see, we're now on the OpenShift dashboards and you're ready to progress any further installs you need. Before I close the video, I'm going to show you how to log into your cluster the next time you come into IBM Cloud. As before, when you log into IBM Cloud, you'll be presented with your dashboard. You can also click the IBM Cloud logo at the top to be taken back to this page. If you go to the resource summary just below it, you can see we have devices, cluster, storage, and schematics workspaces. You can go to your clusters. I just deployed the OCP7 one, so I'm going to click that. Once this is loaded, you can see some of the information about your cluster, such as how many worker nodes, if there's any critical or warning statuses on them. You can also see some cluster insights looking at the CPU and memory usage. If you want to open your OpenShift dashboard again, you once again go to the top right hand side of the screen and click OpenShift Web Console button once more. This will again load your OpenShift container platform dashboard. Thank you for watching this video on IBM Multi-Cloud Management. Be sure to check out all the other videos in the series.